everybody welcome back it's track mania track of the day there was no track mania video yesterday i apologize for that I w i've been thinking about how to reconcile with it um but uh like saturdays are my day off and i, I keep them pretty sacred so uh i didn't record but i did play a little bit of yesterday's it was a honestly i found the track really hard i only completed it like two times but i did get a gold um but we'll be back today as evidenced by this video if I could ever figure out how to use the UI in this game I just want to you just want to see the egg card and how we doing in the egg card top 145 yesterday are you insane anyway our oh dude today is a long track 57 seconds it only rolled over half an hour ago I do need to say by the way thanks to everybody who's joined the egg card Nice to have some ghosts to play against with some familiar names. Maybe you can even see your name on the uh, on the screen here. And then secondarily, I have a new skin for the game. It was created by a graphic designer by the name of Alexandre Desev. I hope I got that correct and offered up. I think if you join the Egg Carden Club, that's not. The, this is an advertisement for a different club. This is for the Drop Dead Club. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you join the uh, the egg card and you can get access to this skin even has some cool special effects associated with it um, But yeah, thank you for that. So we got it. Ooh, nice drip. We got a little drip going on now. Now the only thing I'll say is Oh my I do like um, Racing against other people in the club but when, by default, and I don't know if there's a way to change this, by default, it's almost impossible to see what's happening. Just as a result. You know what, let's start by, uh... Wait, wait till it loads, and let, let's just do a couple laps alone here. Let, let's learn a little bit about the track, uh, and, and maybe get our own sort of feel for it, and then we can start to have 800 mind flooding ghosts because it really is hard to see so I think on this corner good counter steering but even then it wasn't enough okay so people are gonna hate this <laughs> not viewers but uh, other drivers are gonna hate this because it's ice driven usually you gotta turn Oh my god, dude. Um, you're not supposed to, like, break on ice in this game as a general rule. So how do you generate the kind of, like, turn necessary? I, I honestly don't have an idea for you, but we have at least threaded the needle there. That can't be the right way to do it. That's just, it, it just doesn't make sense. So usually on these, you want to stay, like, roughly in the red whenever possible. Look at that. You can you can trace a line from the back of my car. Okay, a little heavy on that ramp, but that's okay. We're going, we're going first person temporarily. That's fine. A little rub against the wall. Hey, it's a long track, and I'm, I'm happy to be... Uh, to basically just to still be moving in the right direction. We'll do a little spinorama if you don't mind and then come through this. Is it spinorama or spinorama? I feel like in Canada we say spinorama. So we're like nine seconds shy of, of impressive there. Um, top 72 in North America, but that's really just because we're early here. Um, this is, uh, I can tell you right off the bat, I'm not saying it's a bad track. I think uh, it's like this the theme song to different strokes, you know? The world don't move to the beat of just one drum. What might be right for you might not be right for some. Everybody likes something a little bit different in Track Mania. I don't mean to insult the level creator. But this is not going to be... Is not going to have mass appeal. <laughs> in all likelihood. Um, just because of the fact that it's very ice heavy so far. Um, that was pretty solid, though. And also, I mean, a long track that is ice heavy is also gonna... is gonna rub people, let's put it that way. That was bad, I lost a, a ton of speed there. There's still room for improvement, though. I gotta say, by the way, I have no idea... like, I guess... We, we cultivate a great audience of drivers. Oh, no. 
<laughs> in uh, in the egg carton. Because, like, we were 72nd. I mean, oh, I mean, you saw yesterday, uh, like, on the leaderboards right there. We were top 145 in the club. I legitimately think that might have been, like, top 100 in Canada, at least. So, there you go. There you have it. My fans, better drivers than the Canadian average. I don't make the rules. I merely interpret the statistics. I think we're going to overshoot that one heavily. <laughs> All right. At least, and you know, you, your mileage may vary. I found yesterday's track, if I'm being honest, kind of annoying. At least, well, no, I find this one a little annoying as well, quite frankly. <laughs> but I, I'm, uh, I have, I'm an ice contrarian. When people are like, "I wish this game didn't have ice." That's not what I say. What I say is, I wish I were better at dealing with the ice. Now, let me let me take a look at this for a second. Do we have a checkpoint pre-ice? We do. Alright, so if we fail on this corner, we should learn how to take it by doing a checkpoint restart. Like, that's clearly not going to make it. What have you... Oh, that's way too early. Okay. Not even close. Way too early. What if you don't drift? And instead you just point your wheels where you want to go? Not even close. And that seems more like it. Oh, I restarted from there. <laughs> that seems more like it if the tree isn't there. But, I mean, that's a tough corner. You might think, hey, this is similar to that one summer course you guys played in the Golden Goblet. Why don't you just take it at full speed? I don't really see it that way. Quite frank, oh my god, restart at the checkpoint! Dude, somebody removed my Y button. Um, I don't really see it that way. That one was more like, because you got reduced traction by your reactor being turned off, or whatever the heck it was called. Um, I think that one was almost a little bit easier to understand. This one, so far, um, well, I mean, it's not necessarily harder, it just requires a different different tact, if you will. So, so far this is pretty solid. I think we're way late on the entry to this corner, but to be honest, I think the exit matters a lot more. Don't hit the tree. Well, for now, at least. Okay, we touched the wall there last time. Didn't touch the wall there. Way overshot the corner, but I also hit the wall here last time. <laughs> So I still think we're going to cut a couple of seconds off. I think it's pretty clear what we need to do if we want to win this run. If we want to do a little bit better than this, um, we're going to need to not hit the wall. But we have improved again. Top 65 Continental. In case you're wondering, by the way, on Saturday you did not miss a quote-unquote pure racing track. If that's what you're concerned about, did we, did we play Laguna Seca or the Nürburgring Nordschleife on Saturday? No, we did not. It was called Route 66. There were some jumps. There was a lot of dirt sections. It was not bad, but it, you know. I just miss the tarmac, man. I miss, I miss the concrete. We're, we're competitive here. Definitely, like, we're not throwing away any lap that's within, like, a second. That seems roughly the same. This one I thought we did pretty badly on last time. We did almost exactly the same thing this time, except substantially worse. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm getting better at, uh, at the first real corner. Because I don't know, are these corners? I guess I would describe that as a corner. I would describe that as a corner. But this is like the first real corner. And what, what do I think I've learned? Enter the ice slowly, and then crash into the tree. That's what I think I've learned. We're in Mario Maker super expert territory right now. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I think I'm more of, a, I'm more of an expert boy temporarily. This seems decent. That's, again, behind, because we lost some speed, but that's okay. 
Leaned into the corner a little early, but got in there a little late. I don't know, that seemed actually better. I don't know if I can if I can catch lightning in a bottle there, but just don't overcorrect here. That's the danger. That was fine. Loop is always okay. This is where it gets spicy, because you exit here. Probably don't have I you fool, you dumb idiot. Okay. But hey. There, so you're saying there's a chance. Look at that. We even cut through the tree and then just slightly... I mean, I don't have control on the ice. <laughs> what if when you got on the ice, your tires turned into skates? Oh, an unfair advantage for the Canadians and the Swedes amongst us? All right. If you insist. If you insist. Acceptable corner. See, we're getting a lot better at that. A lot more consistent. We were like 1.1 seconds down last time we came through here. That's not going to help. But you know what? Let, let's let it ride. Let's let it ride. I was going to say, we're probably going to be like three seconds down at the next checkpoint. But if you enter closer... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You enter closer to the bank on that one. We are three seconds down. You know what comes next? Is this exit? But they slow you way down. You don't... Okay, so you want to exit closer to the right side of that one. Oh, I actually thought we were going to thread the needle. That's okay. All right, we're learning. We're, we're working it through. I mean, hey, this could be a two-hour long video. You never know. I've decided to just start approaching these videos uh, no longer thinking that they are going to be 15 to 30 minutes long and instead thinking that they are going to be 90 to 120 minutes long. I'm tired of the same dunk in the comments. I know that it's lighthearted, but even lighthearted dunks do damage to your NBA stats and your ability to get into the Hall of Fame. Just keep it moving. Just keep it moving. We're moving. You don't need to be ahead here. It would be nice, don't get me wrong. And by the way, I'm sure in this tunnel, there is heavy, like, speed potential. There's good ice potential. Um, to not lose like a second and a half to three seconds by breaking and I'm picking a number out of a hat I'll admit but Okay, I think we're gonna keep it going. I think we're gonna keep it going. We're gonna be way down um, And it's getting worse for for the time being but then it's gonna get better Because we're, we're gonna Compete mostly by sending our car backwards <laughs> Alrighty. Good work. And then we're holding it down. What? There you go. We didn't touch the brakes. Come on, snow tires. Very nice. That's, that's the way consistently we want to take that. Good. You didn't get turned around. That's a start. But don't drive so scared. Drive... Nicholas Cage, drive angry. We're still we're still in it. We're still in it. <laughs> Hold on, let me it might be a Discord message here from uh, boys saying, uh oh. Trackmania, you're too good, NL. How do we how do we do better in Trackmania? No, actually we're trying to plan the golden goblet, but uh, find ourselves in it. In a, a situation we haven't been in in a while, because we did Clubhouse Trackmania, Trackmania Clubhouse, which was a lot of fun. But uh, before that, we had kind of, I wouldn't say hit an impasse, but we were struggling to come up with games to play on occasion. These games have been good fits. Oh. Louise, dude, we're still in there. Okay. But you don't want to go back to the well that often. Especially because we're all rolling our own Trackmania series right now. Give them a chance to... It will really give you a chance to get bored with that before we go back to the Golden Goblet. <laughs> that's that's the my take on the business side of that. Alright. Like, once you're on the ice, you're just on the ice. So, like, best of luck to you if you want to change your trajectory. Good work. Follow the, the red brick road. And you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you kept your wheels on the ground there. That's solid. Little oversteer is gonna. Oh, he did. 
So like, just, and again, you're seeing the salt starting to come out. Get it on your bingo card. The ice is one thing. But like, why the upside down trees on the ice as well? Like, just making the corner is its own difficulty. I, you know what it is? It's the tester's fallacy. When you make a level, you implicitly think it's too easy because you practice it all the time. Um, and this is just my layperson's opinion from having watched a lot of people or played a lot of custom Mario Maker levels. Everybody, they make a level, and this is really just a, not even a shot, but an observation about Apollo's level design philosophy. You make a level that has like a 2% or a 0.2% clear rate, and then you go, it's not that hard. It is that hard. 500 people lose for every one person that defeats it. That's like, I don't know, 30 times lower than Harvard's acceptance rate. Now, that's not really a fair comparison because Harvard uh, applicants self-select if they're not able to make it into the... Yeah, but you know, like, in principle, you can compare the statistics, all right? Just, just, for, just to make it easier to contextualize it. I wouldn't even go so far as to call this, like, where we're at right here, a regression right now. Because I actually, like, I don't think there's any progress to regress. Most of the time that we've made it through this course, in my opinion, has pretty much been... Um, maybe luck is too strong of a word, but, you know, we're not, we're not in confidence in our elements right here. So I, I, I actually felt for a while like we had that... Uh, this corner under control. That's not the case anymore. I guess I'm not really, uh, and I'm not mad at all. You know, again, every time we do something like this, it raises our skill set in Track Mania. So I'm happy that we're learning a little bit, maybe, about how to handle these obstacles in the future. Like, maybe that's a lower throttle situation right there. Um, however, I'm more like, hey, choose less ice levels for the track of the day. I guess that's where I'm standing right now. Now that I think about it, I'm like, wait a minute, is this, this might be the first super ice driven level. So maybe I'm just being unreasonable. Why don't you just let me pick the track of the day every time? How about that? So we're going to go light. And then we're going to, oh, this feels decent. Come on! No! We're getting caught. We're not getting caught? That's stunning to me. <laughs> not a big improvement. In fact, there's a technically a regression, I suppose. Um, but that, that was possibly going to be three seconds ahead. I'm calling it. That, that was a three second, well, a 2.3 second mistake. There you go. Less throttle on this and the ice has been smooth. The ice has been smooth there. Now this, I don't know, just hit the throttle and let God sort it out. Not sweating it, because again, there's so much room for improvement on this level. Just based on the fact that, oh, that's no good. That's no good, dude. Oh, <laughs> no, that's still not going to get us there. Based on the fact that we make a collision, we should be able to improve. Do we know what a gold is on this level, by the way? I probably could. I just can't see. All right, take a look. Do we know? 102. It's four seconds ahead to get the gold medal. So I, we should turn on ghosts again at some point as well. Now, now that we got a general feel for how the level works. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll play against my followers, please. You don't have to put them all on the track. You, you don't have to put them all on the track. That's where I'm, you know, I start to get a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> hey, look at that. 
So how are they doing this? How, how are the big players of Trackmania doing that? They're actually turning, like, way more than me. And then how are they doing this? Roughly along those lines seemed about right. I mean, everybody that we're on the seed with right now has a better time than us, I think, so... Well, this is uh, pretty pretty good so far. Pretty good. Don't hit the trees. Don't hit the tree. Okay, thank God. I mean, this is amazing so far. Thank you to the egg carton, without whom I couldn't have been here today. Without you, I couldn't have been here today. We cut five seconds off our time on the first run to get the gold medal. Oh my God. Look at that. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? That changes everything, dude. We're still not even... I can't believe all of the ghosts are better off than me already. Okay, so what did we learn about ice? Heavy oversteer? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's slower than my past, but uh, better than I think could have realistically thought for my first attempt at that new strategy. Now we're going to pass ourselves, I think. Maybe not. That seems good. Right in there. Oh, ah! <laughs> Are you drifting on the ice? Be honest with me. That's no good. Well, we can make it work. What are you doing? What are you doing? Send it! Oh, that's going nowhere, dude. <laughs> you turn... So you, you... It seems like you want your car to turn perpendicular to the entrance. And then you basically... I don't I wouldn't even say you correct at the last second. I would instead say... You kind of just enter the corner at an angle and then straighten out. So they're going like a heavy, heavy this way and then bringing it back. Which I think, wow, dude, half a second ahead. And honestly, I lost my, I lost my courage at the end. So we, we could have kept the throttle going a little harder. Now this is still a situation. We don't want to get overly cocky. Mostly because if we touch the wall at all, we just instantaneously lose. We would have just died on the loop there. Um, but this is very solid. This is very, very solid. So you turn in way further than you think you need to go. That time it did not work. It's a little, it's a low percentage play. By the way, I do, uh, and I should just bring this up on the Discord. But uh, my, my plan for the club is I do want to... Ha like my ideal situation I think for the for the club if you're in on track mania and I do want to say because it's come up a lot um, if you are like only 20% in on track mania please for the love of God do not buy the $30 edition to join the club now I, I you know I, I bought the game myself I'm not being you know paid under the table by Ubisoft or anything like that in case it wasn't apparent that should make it so I think it's a great game but I don't think everybody is in the $30 a year category that's like an enthusiast category right um however because you know i i bought the club access um i i think that it would be cool if we had a club server which is, comes free with the club access and we just had it be the track of the day every single day so that if people wanted to practice the track they could join a multiplayer server with the track going and maybe i don't know it have like a half hour time limit or something like that just so it it refreshes and you can start over again um but the thing is i'm just being honest with you i don't know if i have the uh i don't know if i have the time and the uh, dedication to make sure that I'm pruning the maps every single day so that it's only the track of the day or maybe the most recent couple tracks of the day. Um, so we'll probably, I'll, I'll keep you posted in these videos. But uh, that, that is my plan. It's like, hey, if I've got the club access, I might as well, you know, go one step further to set up the server to make it so that uh, 
maybe you can have a place to play the track of the day with other like-minded individuals. So that's, that's where I'm at right now. I actually think that, like, it's one of the best things about this track mania. Is, uh... The easy to integrate server access. Again, that probably seems like I'm reading off a script or something, but you know, we had a Trackmania 2 stadium server for the stream back in like 2013. Um, it was really annoying to manage because it was like old PC gaming style. Like we had to rent the server from an online server provider. I had to use like their CMS to to change maps and stuff like that. And then, you know, if anything ever went wrong, it wasn't just like two buttons in the in the UI. It was like you gotta go into the system and be like, okay, we're gonna kick out all 64 people. We're gonna manually like add this map to the blacklist because it's gonna, you know, not it, it doesn't load for everybody and then yada yada yada. Oh whoops, I set accidentally set the server time for uh, 30 seconds per map instead of, you know, 30 minutes, and then you get the idea. Not to mention, like, and this is why I'm like, club access, I think, is really, really good for a small subset of people. We were paying, like, I don't know, something like seven uh, pounds a month for the server. So to pay $30 a year and have it integrated much more easily is definitely a, a positive for me. Don't touch the wall! Why would they put a bend there? That's reckless. But yeah, if, I will admit the, uh, the, the flip side of that is for the end consumer. $30 access. Uh, you don't need $30 access to join the server. You do need the $10 tier. But in order to join the club and get access to like all the leaderboards and the customization options and stuff like that, you, you would need the $30 tier. So I think it's much worse for that level of user. But if you're the level of user that was like, you know, we're gonna... Oh, jeez Louise, dude. Okay, that's just a terrible way to go. We got our tire shot out by the Winter Soldier. Yeah, I say Soldier. Why? Because it's spelled with a D. It is not S O L J A R, Soljar. I'm a language rigidalist, structure, structurally rigidized. You wouldn't understand, sweetheart. It's a linguist thing. Okay, send those wheels 270 degrees. <laughs> okay, that maybe was a little too much. But on the other hand, did you see the speed that we had there? Remember, you know, we did okay on the water, and this is just cold water. Yeah, okay. It, dude, having these ghosts on has changed my life. At first, there there was overwhelming, for sure. Can't correct that much. At first, it was overwhelming. But now, like, I, maybe that's the way we should do it in the future. We'll do a couple of test drives at a reasonable speed to get a feel for the track. And then um, turn the ghosts on once we know uh, what the elements look like so that we can figure out how to improve upon them slightly. But that, that counter steer there probably is knocked off like three or four seconds off of our solo time. That's okay. We want to keep the car straighter, but all I can say is on ice, it's, it's tough. It's tricky. You want to make sure you're going into the corners straight. Yep, and there you go, Winter Soldier once more. I don't know why I'm going like this, by the way. I guess I am a, uh, I'm a body language gamer. I lean into the corners. I, I dodge shots in Warzone. Stay, let's go. <laughs> that was, if our back wheels touched, that was over, but they didn't. Okay, so I think I, I, I'm learning a lesson that's very valuable right now. When you go into that ice corner, I've been kind of, you know, I mean, I think I said the exact words, let God sort it out. That's not a long-term strategy that's going to be viable for us in this game. We're going to hit that tree. Or that tree. Um, instead, we do want to turn into the corner slightly. You don't want to turn as much as you would on another corner, because every, every steering motion you do on ice is exaggerated. Much like Brad Marchand 
in the National Hockey League. Um, so what, what we got to do is just we got to incept the turn. That's a good way to think about it. We're not going to be like, hey, turn right. What we're going to do instead is be like, hey, wouldn't it be sick? Wouldn't a right turn look sick here? And then the ice is going to be like, you know what? That's a great idea. Glad I thought of it. That's a decent turn. I, li I like where your wheels are at. Does decent. Decent's good enough. We just need to compete through this section. All right, and then an incept. Just a brief incept. That looked worse. No, it looked exactly as bad as it was. Well, I hope that there is no ice tomorrow. But I think we did okay today. And again, every day I just like to learn a little bit more. What have we learned today? The, the counter steering on ice strategy is a little bit more internalized now. This was actually a very good way to kind of to learn it, I think. We want to incept the turn only slightly. That's very, very decent. You want to incept the turn only slightly. That's very, very good. Did have to lay off the throttle there for just a brief moment. Heavy counter steer. That's not heavy enough. It's not heavy enough. Bro, we were in there. I'd like to set like one more PB. Realistically, I don't even think we're making it on the... I don't think we're beating any of our ghosts here. Or any of our... I mean, they're not my ghosts, but you know what I mean. That's good. That's good. Straighten those wheels out. Got good acceleration out of the apex. What do we do? This is Inception 1. Starring Leonardo DiCaprio. And Ken Watanabe. Then Inception 2, a.k.a. Tenant. Good stuff. Great speed. Even entered this corner the right way for once. Slight layoff of the throttle, but not that much! But you can still, maybe, with the turn of your life, improve upon your previous best not if you glance the wall I, I got too greedy there but you know we have all the tools now are we gonna get an author medal today I don't know usually the author medal is another couple percentage points past the gold which we are barely at right now I think but on the other hand it's a it's a complex course complex courses tend to be a little easier well let me rephrase it completely depends on the author. However, there's more room, uh, there's more wiggle room for the author to have not set a fantastic track, uh, time, I should say, on a track that's long and has some complicated elements. Okay, we need, we need to do better than that. We incepted, we incepted well, I can already tell. Good, now we come off this wall, slide a little bit to the left. One hop this time, a little inception, just a brief, Inception. Great. I hate the walls! <laughs> now. Round the corner. Good acceleration. We look slow, because we are slow. However, we can make up for our slowness. Oh, with a beautiful entrance there. That was like a half second improvement through that section. Just a brief, in, uh, you know, you know the deal. It's Inception. Then we come off this wall. Lost a lot, but not enough to be devastated. Just a brief Inception. This is Tenant. Tenant corner. If only I could keep my wheels straight at that section, we'd have nothing to worry about at all. I bet we could drift there and make up another like two tenths. I can already tell this corner is the corner of dreams until we hit that skid but th that was really really good okay inception leonardo joseph gordon levitt ellen page great work we lost so much there this is tenet robert pattinson good 
Oh, put, stop putting hills there! Stop putting hills everywhere! When did society become this? We put hills everywhere. Instead of sending a real smile, we text an emoji. I don't like that. Bro. Hills and trees. Hills and trees. Uh, it's a nice level. It would be a shame if somebody added uh, four million hills and trees to it. Oh, wait. It wouldn't be a shame. It would be a uh, reality. See, now I've... At first, I was, it was wondrous, you know? I just I didn't even know what I was doing on this level. Now, I, I kind of know what I want to do beyond just, haha, go fast, and it's annoying. Now it's just annoying when these obstacles are in the way. Look, I don't, a tough corner is a tough corner. When you put a tree in the middle of a 100% like, counter-steered corner, that's what we in the business call malevolence, and I don't like a malevolent track design. That's, that's, and uh, again, this is not Ryan's track reviews, this is just Ryan, uh, 33 minutes into the video, sorry, 36 minutes into the video, getting a little bit salted, and saying things that are perhaps, uh, regrettable. However, this, this, that, the, tr the corner, ha ha, we're all getting salted. It's a fun time, we're all having a jovial experience. The trees on the corner, who hurt you? That's all, all I have to ask is like, what? Because, why? Why is there an upside down tree in the corner? Explain to me the laws of physics and botany that allow that to come to pass. Oh wait, you can't because th those laws have been broken. Isaac Newton, Sir Judge Isaac Newton. Judge Sir Isaac Newton, presiding. Your Honor, when the apple fell on your head, was this what you had in mind? I didn't think so. I rest my case. Ladies and gentlemen of the Peloton. Okay, good stuff. 1.3 tens ahead. I counter steer more. Counter steer less. Just count it. Just say, yeah, at runtime, dynamically adjust your counter steer. But be careful, the trees have been running wild this winter. I'll just say it. This seems like a bad place to plant evergreens. You'd really rather plant something that, like, withers in the wintertime for visibility reasons. Alright, maybe a drift is not the play there. The le okay, there, it's been a while. We're a half second ahead of our previous best. Well, we're only one second behind our previous best. That's good. Accelerate up the ice. That should work well. Wow, that changed fast, huh? <laughs> I think I, th this one's sapping my will to drive a little bit. So we'll, we won't do too much more of this one. I'm happy we got the gold. It was, uh, it was a solid performance to do so. I couldn't have done it without the egg carton. So thank you for that. And to stop before I say something I regret. I'm sure the level designer is a very nice individual who has produced a great variety of enjoyable tracks. I'm sure they're not just Jigsaw. I'm sure they're not just Jigsaw, the, the antagonist slash protagonist, depending on which film in, this, in the franchise we're talking about, but uh, from, from the Saw franchise, designing puzzles and then laughing when people's eyeballs get gouged out. The sins of the driver passed to the bar. Okay, we're still in there. Never mind. We, uh, a single atom of rubber touched the wall, uh, and as a result, our engine shut off because the game operates on a same principle as operation. Yes, the board game. We're hitting a tree. We're hitting a tree. Like, I would be inclined to give this the commodus thumbs up if it were not for the trees in the tunnels. I would still be inclined to give it the commodus thumbs up if we set a new PB right here. This is what's known as bargaining. <laughs> it's like the third stage of grief. But you can bargain without being in grief. 
It's not exclusively part of the stages of grief. That's fine. That's fine. You gotta oversteer that. You knew as well as I did there was no way that one was coming back. Well, you know what? If you wanna... If you wanna race a pure racing track, go do the Canada GP in F1 2020. Any of the F1s with Canada in it, I suppose. You know, we used to have an IndyCar circuit in Vancouver. It's true. I mean, I don't know. I thought maybe you would just find that interesting. Or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe you don't even know what IndyCar is. I barely know what IndyCar is either. I only know because there was a, a fairly famous Canadian um, IndyCar driver back when I was, like, in middle school. I believe until recently, like, on, within my adulthood, I actually thought that IndyCar and F1 were the same thing. But is IndyCar, like... It's not a feeder series for F1, but isn't it, like, just slower F1? Or am I, am I losing it? Like, I know it's different. I'm sure there's other intricacies beyond just, like, it's slower. I think. Hey, wouldn't it be cool if, um, there weren't any trees in that tunnel? I did leave a pause there. Was I gonna say the F word? I had to think about whether I was on YouTube or Twitch temporarily. I was about to say Frick. Good. Very good. Straight wheels, clear eyes. Can't lose. Little dangerous? No, no, no. Not dangerous. Not dangerous. Safe. Ten it. Ten it. Ten it. You know you had to do that. You know if you, if you didn't do that, you had exited, you had entered the corner incorrectly, and you were gonna eat it. What? Somebody sanded part of this down. Don't get me wrong, I'm stoked it probably saved us, but like, we gained so much traction unexpectedly. Okay! <laughs> we at least set a new PB. That's where I'm gonna live the rest of my life. I, I can accept that. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. This is a, not that, it was a fun video on a hard track. That's what I'll say. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for all the track mania support, and I'll see you next time. See ya!